Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and in today's episode we are going to be taking a look at Toolbar Pushback again with its latest release that allows you to pre-plan your pushback. Stick around guys because I promise you're going to love this one. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides for Microsoft Flight Simulator, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future updates and future guides that will be coming down the road. Link to Patreon can be found in the description below. Okay, I'm sure everybody remembers X-Plane 11 and the uh, push better pushback service that was available where you could pre-plan your pushback, get your aircraft ready to go, and when you executed the pushback, the aircraft would automatically go exactly to where you plan it to be. The uh, ambitious pilot, who the developer of Toolbar Pushback, has finally come through with this. He's the first one to develop this kind of uh, uh, performance that uh, is stable. Now, I do want to be careful using the word stable. What I mean by stable is that it is working well in all of my testing and it is absolutely fantastic. It is so great to see this. Now, I wanna give you guys a couple of disclaimers. If you have the UI mod installed, if you have the no handlebar add-on installed, um, the pushback, uh, better toolbar pushback may not work. Um, I ran into a bug with it. I reached out to the developer and this is what he brought to my attention. Um, and unfortunately that was the cause. Um, so I have to deal with this thing at the moment, but hopefully, you know, in the future we'll have some sort of work around to that. But let's get right into how this works. This is absolutely wonderful. Link to it is down in the description below, guys. So we're going to go to our toolbar here. We're going to go to push back here. And of course, you still have all of your typical options. Okay, everything that was there before is still there. But let's get right into the awesome part, which is pre plan pushback. We're going to select this and look at this. This should look very familiar to you guys. Now, you can hit left control and your scroll wheel, and you can zoom your map out to better see your airport or the direction that you want to go. Then, just like we saw in better pushback, you use your mouse wheel to rotate the aircraft one direction or the other. If you move it quickly, it will move quickly. Little movements will just slightly move the airplane so you can get that fine tuning in. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come down to, let's see here, let's do a click right about here. And let's back it out to here. It's a little wide, going to be a little bit goofy. Let's just straighten it out. It's not quite where I wanted it to be, but that's all right. And then left click. And then to execute the pushback, we're just going to press enter now the pre-plan is saved now we can go about starting up the aircraft as we normally would um, and getting it ready for the actual pushback when it comes time to get things rocking and rolling we're simply going to request our pushback Parking brakes are set. You may lift. Parking brakes set. Lifting the aircraft. We are cleared for start and push. Okay, cleared for push start. Please release parking brake. All right, we'll release the parking brake. Parking brakes are released. Commencing push back. You can start the engines in sequence. Yeah, we'll start in the sequence. And from here, we would be able to cycle our engines on if everything was ready to go, just as you would. You'd have your camera views available if you want to do your wing views with the engine starts. All those things that we could do back in X-Plane 11 and um, even prepared or FSX, we now have access to given this fantastic pushback. Let's just sit outside and monitor it. Remember, I had that weird curve, so it's going to be a little wide. There he goes. And the other cool part is, is this is a third party map.
takes it to where we need. Fine tuning it. Look at that. Putting the nose wheel right on the right on the money. Okay, push back completed. Please set your parking brake. Parking brake on. Parking brake set. Parking brake set. Lowering aircraft. And it continues with the pushback process. So we finally have a full okay, sir, pushback service that can be executed customly on each flight Holding no worrying about ready. recording um, you, other Bob. flights or, or other pushbacks anything like that everything is set and ready to go you still have manual pushback capability if you choose this is absolutely wonderful now I want to make a request to everybody who is able to please please if you can uh, check out the link down in the description below um, and uh, hopefully you know either join uh, ambitious pilots patreon or uh, you know buy him a coffee if you will um, obviously, as he does state on the website, and he's absolutely right, these freeware add-ons are free to use, but obviously cost money to create and as well as time. And he has requested a little bit of support in helping him to continue this product. I do want to remind everyone this is a beta release, okay? So it is not a final release. Um, it is in beta. We just happen to be the beta testers, but this is going to change the game completely for airliners. Um, I'm, I'm really stoked. And by the way, this is the Fly-By-Wire a 3 2 x so it's working even with its mod. Another catch-22 that you want to be careful of, if you have other pushback services installed, such as Pushback Express, um, please, um, if you run into issues with toolbar pushback, just remove your other ones and uh, everything should work fine. So remember the big things here, the no handlebar add-ons uh, do seem to uh, affect the... Uh, toolbar pushback as well as any other pushback add-ons that are installed well anyways guys that's all i have for you today a nice quick video um again please help out ambitious pilots and support his work if you can and uh, as always guys stay safe and healthy and i will see you in the next one take care folks